Hey Cancer, welcome back to the Stealth Tarot. My name's Shannon, I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Sunday, February 7th. Let's see what's going on with Cancer. The heart of your reading, we have the Ace of Swords reversed. If you came into this reading with a yes or no question in mind, because it showed up in the first position, I take the Ace of Swords to sometimes mean a no. That's only for you uh, if you were wondering, is it yes or is it no, with a specific question in mind. If you didn't have a specific question in mind, Ace of Swords reversed means a lack of clarity. A lack of understanding. Or you may have just received a no. Or you may be saying no. What's the challenge here? Actually, yeah, they're giving me no pretty strongly. Nine of Cups, Page of Pentacles, reversed, Knight of Cups, reversed. Either you were approached by someone who I think wanted to try and they thought they were granting a wish of yours, or vice versa, you approached someone else, like I can make your wish come true sort of energy. But the response was a resounding no. Like, absolutely not. With the Page of Pentacles reversed, whomever did this offer the offering, they may just not get the hint. They're the type of person that doesn't take a hint. So you have to be blunt. You have to be like, absolutely not. I don't want this. It's not going to happen. Sort of blunt. Someone who just doesn't learn their lessons, doesn't get it, doesn't take the hint. You, you can't be subtle with this person. And it's possible that that's your energy. Show me Cancer's focus. Ten of Pentacles reversed, that is not the life that I want. It could be, depending on what the offer was, you are not the person that I want to spend the rest of my life with. Um, no, I don't want that job. I don't see a future for myself there. It's like, this. whatever the offer was, the answer is, that doesn't get me to the life that I want. So no, absolutely not. In no, uncer no uncertain terms, the answer is no. In the recent past, we have the Page of Cups, Ten of Cups, yeah, this, uh, whomever is making the offer has made similar offers in the past. They just don't take a hint. It's the similar energy of, I, I dream about you. You're everything to me. I can provide a great life for you. We'd be so great together. 
But this is, it feels like a very one-sided dream. Like the person is somewhat um, detached from reality or not even considering that another person's feelings would be important in whether or not two people should be in a relationship together. It's, it's the, I'm getting a very one-sided energy of like someone's concept of love is only about how they feel. Well, I have so much love in my heart for you. And that's what love is, right? So we should obviously be together because I can't stop thinking about you. And the other person might be like, I don't even know you that well. Like we've barely had a conversation. Where is this even coming from? Show me the energy of the environment. Mm -hmm. This is bordering on obsession. Someone's uh, putting their Queen of Wands on a pedestal and obsessing, like fantasizing, thinking how wonderful this person is, how great it would be to be with them, how wonderful it would be to hold them and kiss them. And it's not about like, it's just not a mature vibe that I'm getting off of this. It's, it's not with a true understanding of even like how to connect with people, like with social skills. In the near future, I have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. This cycle is going to continue um, if, if there's no breaking out of it. If, if you are on the, the side of fantasizing about someone or not, getting able, not being able to get someone out of your head, despite a lack of any real communication or any indication on their part that they're interested in you, then you are repeating a pattern here. And the pattern looks like approaching them and offering them some big romantic gesture and them politely letting you down and saying, oh, not now, thank you so much, but um, I'm with someone else or I have something else going on. And that sort of approach, whether you are the one wanting to be with them or you're on the receiving end of that, it, it is it's fostering interest on their part so that they believe there's hope and they, they keep advancing, maybe even upping their game. But with this strong, emphatic no that I'm seeing here, I feel like that's that's not even enough to um, to make this person see that there's not a path forward with the, these two people. These people are not going to come together in a relationship. Show me surprise energy for Cancer. Seven of Cups. That's emotional confusion. Okay. So you... Hold on, I'm checking in to see on which side of this, this conversation this energy is falling. Okay, I'm connecting this with the the offers that have been made. This the Ten of Cups. You're my you're my wish fulfillment. You're my ideal life partner. We could be so happy together. 
I can make your dreams come true. You're all I wish for. You're all I think about. Wh whomever in your situation has been holding that energy is going to shift into an energy of what's happening? Why isn't this working? What do I do now? I don't understand what love is. I feel like that's actually a healthy progression because that's been so one-sided. It's like it needs to, they've been so certain about something that's just not going to happen that the confusion is a logical step forward. It's where there was emotional certainty but that certainty was misplaced, there's going to be emotional confusion. But wait, you're saying there's not a chance? How is that even possible? I love you. Wait, do I love you? What is love all about? It's like that questioning a lot about emotions. Show me hopes and fears. Eight of Swords. You are concerned that whomever in this situation has this certainty of emotion that's misplaced, that they're going to be stuck on that thought and that you're somehow going to be trapped in a cycle, whether you are the person pursuing someone else that doesn't seem to feel the same way about you or if someone just won't take the hint and won't give up pursuing you won't give up wanting you um you're concerned that that they're not going to understand and that no matter what you say they're going to perceive it in a way that like twist the words and and turn it into something that gives them hope to keep going and keep pursuing you. Show me the end result for Cancer. Four of Swords reversed. I see the person who said no um, pulling back, getting some space. It could be anything up to and including like de deleting all of their social media and changing their phone numbers. Um, it could be something very drastic like that. I feel like, um, Yeah, whomever has been on the receiving end of these advances is going to make it extremely clear with, like, okay, if they're not going to take a hint and they're going to continue to try and win my heart over, I don't want my heart to be won over, so I'm going to take away any avenue of communication that this person might have, so maybe that will make them see that there's not going to be a victory here. And, and cut and cut off the pursuit. I do think that that's going to be successful because um, that person won't stay in that energy very long. It will be, okay, let's have a, a social media diet, a social media blackout, block on everything. I'm not even going to ha be active on social media so they can't find me anywhere. And I don't really get like, I don't think, well, Everyone's situation is going to be different. I don't see an indication that this is anyone to be, like, concerned about. I don't think that they... Well, yeah. Yeah, you, you have to follow your own intuition on that. If you feel like, you know, you, you should be concerned about them. Um... Okay, regardless, I do see that you'll be able, oh, who, okay, whomever is the one um, 
cutting off communication, cutting off means of communication, they'll be able to resume normal life pretty quickly. Your advice, page of wands in reverse. Okay, so if you are the one doing the pursuing, this is um, recognizing the lack of interest, acknowledging the lack of interest, seeing your person clearly and recognizing, oh, wait, they're not lying. They're not like playing coy. This isn't a, an indication that I should try harder. They're actually just not interested. Maybe I should refocus and, you know, work on myself or look for someone else that is going to be more uh, open to my advances. If you are the one being pursued, then don't give any indication of interest. Um, continue making it absolutely clear that uh, any time that you are in communication with this person, that it's a it's a no if you are feeling like it's the right thing to do to, to be blunt and continue to communicate say this is not a love opportunity I am not interested what else can I do to make it clear um, but I am seeing that you'll you'll take a more extreme route if that's you on the end of that equation um, in potentially like changing numbers, blocking them on social media, potentially like canceling your social media accounts, just like or not being active or not, not replying whatsoever. This could be like a communications blackout, like I'm just not accessible whatsoever. Cancer, I hope that helped. Enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you back tomorrow.